Welcome to the Outsiders Chapter 9 and 10 Analysis. Chapters 9, 10, and 11 are filled with a lot of action. This section starts off with the greasers preparing for their long-awaited rumble with the Soches and ends in Chapter 11 with Pony in a state of shock and denial over the tragic death of his friends, Johnny, and essential suicide of his friend, Dally. Look through the opening pages of Chapter 9. Do you notice how the greasers are preparing for this rumble? You'd almost think they were going out to a party the way that they were doing their hair. This rumble is, an import, is important to the greasers, so much so that Pony decides to fight, even though he doesn't agree with it. If you turn to page 120, we learn that this rumble will more or less be a fair fight. There are 22 Soches versus 20 Greasers. Read Pony's reflections about the way the Soches look. Notice that, that, that at the end of the paragraph he says, but people usually go by looks. What has he realized in this moment about the two groups? Notice what he says about how appearances hide what's really there. He says greasers look mean and tough to hide their kindness and sensitivity, while socias look clean cut, which hides their meanness. I also want to draw your attention to the confrontation between Derry and Paul. These two were once friends and teammates, yet now they're fighting. Why is that? This confrontation not only shows how deep this hatred each group has for one another is, but also again reminds the reader that the two sides don't really know why they're fighting, but that their allegiances and their loyalty to their gangs drives them to take certain actions. In this case, it drives Derry to remain a greaser and to fight his once friend. The greasers end up winning, if you can say that, the rumble. But I want you to think about this. Did the greasers actually win anything? Did their situation improve? Did this rumble or this win actually end the conflict between the greasers and the socias? After the rumble, Dally and Ponyboy decide to go tell Johnny the quote-unquote good news. If you go to page 125, you see that Dally is trying to give Ponyboy some life advice. Uh, first, in the car on the drive over, he gives Ponyboy a type of warning. I want you to look at that. Look at what he's saying here. What message or warning does Dally try to tell Ponyboy when he says, wise up to not get hurt? Do you agree with this statement? Do you think Dally really believes this statement? Then at the hospital, Dally tries to show Pony to not take no for an answer and actually pulls out his switchblade to try to convince the doctor to let him and Pony Boy see Johnny. But I really want you to notice the doctor's response. It says, the doctor didn't bat an eye. You can see him, but it's because you're his friends not because of that knife. What message about the use of violence does the doctor try to send to Pony Boy, which is contradictory to the message or the life lesson that Dally was actually trying to show? At the end of chapter nine, Johnny, Pony Boy, and Dally share a very touching moment. Johnny gives his friend some last advice I want you to relook at page 126. What does Johnny mean when he tells Pony Boy to stay gold? Consider his previous statement about fighting being useless and no good. Also consider the novel's theme regarding growing up and loss of innocence. How does Johnny's advice contradict the life lesson that Dally was trying to give Pony Boy in the car before arriving at the hospital. At the start of chapter 10, the reader realizes that both Pony Boy and Dally are in two very different stages of grief. Pony Boy is in a state of denial. 
I want you to find some evidence to support that. Whereas Dally is definitely in a stage of anger. Again, I want you to find some quotes to support this statement. Dally's anger forces him to become very self-destructive, and it ultimately cost him his life. Look at page 131. Pony's reflecting about the way his two friends died. One died a hero, while the other died a du juvenile delinquent, but who died gallantly. In this context, gallant is actually referring to the public or the stylish way in which Dally died. I want you to look at this final label that Dally was given, juvenile delinquent. Do you think this statement is fair? Should he get more attention for his kind gestures that he did in the previous chapters, or should we remember him as this reckless uh, rebel who couldn't control his feelings? I want you to pay particular attention to the impact that the past few days have had on Ponyboy. He's definitely in a state of denial and is trying to avoid anything and everything that will make him feel. Look at the statement on the screen. What, did, what didn't Ponyboy want to think about? What would happen if he would actually let himself have these feelings? Whose advice is Ponyboy ultimately listening to? That of Johnny to stay gold? Or that of Dally to not get close to people? In chapter 11, the reader gets to learn more about Bob and see how destructive the Soch greaser battle or conflict has been for both sides. In many ways, Bob becomes less of a heartless, cruel antagonist and actually becomes a little bit human. I want you to find support for this statement. Randy once again makes an appearance and is a bit shocked by Pony's state of denial over Johnny's death. In coming to visit Pony Boy, Randy shows a lot of compassion and maturity. He also demonstrates empathy in his concern over the Curtis brothers' potential separation. We can see that Randy is starting to separate from the other socias and is starting to make decisions for himself. Ponyboy, however, is clearly in denial and is actually trying to take blame for Bob's death. Why do you think that is? So that's it for chapters 9, 10, and 11. There's only one more chapter left. I would like you to start thinking about the major themes of this novel and a potential song with meaningful lyrics that can connect to one of the major themes. This connection will be your final project for this novel study. Your reply question this time on Edmodo will be, what message about violence does the doctor's reply on page 125 send to Ponyboy and Dally? Don't forget that if you ever have any questions, you can also post them on Edmodo, and I will try to answer them in class. Hope you enjoy the end of the novel.